Now, you probably know this hasn't been the greatest week for Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm. The acolyte just isn't cutting it, and it's not breaking any viewer records. And now on top of it, Elon Musk is taking a couple jabs. But would you do me a favor? Could you please hit the subscribe button? We are so close to 90K. It would mean the world to me. It's a free thing that you could do to help out the channel. I really appreciate it. And you could see from the title of this article, Elon Musk says Lucasfilm president is more deadly than the Death Star. <laughs> Musk says she's super bigoted against men. Now, where in the world did they get these quotes from? Well, of course, they got them from Twitter or, or X. I mean, look at this. This is hilarious. You can see Elon Musk responding to an article from IGN where it says Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy has said women in Star Wars such as the Acolyte showrunner Leslie Headland's struggle due to a male-dominated fan base. And Elon says right here, Kathleen Kennedy is super bigoted against men. And you can see Elon responding to this meme on June 21st, where it says planet killer, system killer, fleet killer, Kathleen Kennedy, franchise killer. Elon says she's more deadly then the Death Star. <laughs> well, I want to show you guys something. I hope you stay with me. I did a video um, a little while back that shows all the failures just from one year from Lucasfilm. And it didn't really get a lot of traction. But I want to show you again. Because this woman should not have a job. But for some strange reason, she does. There was so many failures from Lucasfilm in one year alone. And so much money lost. The, anybody that had this position in any other workforce would be gone. Check this video out and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, it looks like Bob Iger's getting ready to sell off some assets from Disney because they're not making them any money. And I think they need to start with Lucasfilm, and here's why. Because today we're going over the top fails of Lucasfilm in 2023. The Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. But wait, Jay, isn't that part of the parks? Yes, but it's also part of Lucasfilm's creativity. This is Matt Martin, part of Lucasfilm, who is one of the geniuses who put together this amazing Star Wars hotel. Not quite sure what he's doing with his hands here. But yes, they thought we were dumb enough to spend $6,000 to spend some time with Kylo Ren and Rey. Just over a year of being opening, Bob Iger says, yeah, we're going to shut that down because nobody cares. Nobody wants to go and no one's going to spend that kind of money. We're not going to retheme it. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to take Take a tax write-off. Willow, a once beloved film that only cost $35 million to make that was a wonderful adventure story for all ages. Lucasfilm decided to do a series which totally destroyed the character, the focus, and it was just completely dumb. This series was so bad that Bob Iger came out in 2023 and said, yeah, we're going to nuke it from existence. We're going to erase it. You can't find it anywhere. No, it will not be on Disney+. Plus. And many people with this production have been fired, let go, or moved to another division. The High Republic series. In 2023, a report was released about the sales numbers for Star Wars The High Republic. Well, there was a time and place where you could slap Star Wars on anything and people would run out to buy it. Those days are long gone. Thank you, Kathleen Kennedy. The sales numbers show that some of the books didn't even sell over 3,000 copies. That's right. Talk about a total failure. Mandalorian Season 3. That's right, the flagship Star Wars show for Disney+. Plus. That was supposed to keep everyone subscribing to Disney+. Plus. Well, after the Jack Black and Lizzo episode, it appears that 300,000 people in America and over 100,000 people in Canada decided this wasn't for me and canceled their Disney Plus subscription. Way to go. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Yes, those people at Lucasfilm thought, let's take one of the most celebrated action superstars and make him into an old, grumpy, broken down, I have nothing to live for person and put that on the big screen. People will love that, right? They'll run to see it. Well, they didn't. One of the most expensive movies ever to be made. Looks like it could be the biggest flop in cinema history. That's right. Not only is this the biggest flop for Disney, Lucasfilm, but it could be the biggest one in cinema history, losing hundreds of millions of dollars. 
again, this is all just 2023. We could go back a little bit further, but someone needs to tell me. Please let me know in the comment section below. How is Lucasfilm making any money for Disney? Are they making anything or are they just constantly in the red? But hey, at least we got Ahsoka to look forward to. And down the road, we might possibly see the savior of Star Wars, Rey. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did I leave something out? Did I forget to put something in? And if you're new here, why not subscribe? This is Jay, and we'll catch you next time.